What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Training with Bill. Today I'm going to show you guys the best bicep workout that you can do to help you get bigger arms. Now whether you're a beginner or advanced doesn't matter because everybody does these exercises to help increase the size of their arms. Let's get started. For the first exercise we'll be doing standing dumbbell bicep curls. Make sure you pick a weight that you're able to control and that you're comfortable with. We're not working out your ego here so make sure you pick a weight that you're comfortable and able to control completely. So two things to remember, your form and also control. So make sure you're having correct form, elbows are tucked in, you want to make sure you go all the way down, all the way up and control on the way down as well as on the way up. So don't let gravity do the work on the way down, you want to make sure that you're controlling it the whole way down. At the same time with your form, you want to isolate the biceps, so make sure that you're not throwing your arms up like this and swinging your body around. Simple controlled motion, it's just the biceps that we're working at the moment. Three sets of 8 to 10 reps, let's do it. Second exercise we'll be doing standing hammer curls. Now it's the exact same procedure as your regular bicep curls, however you'll be bringing up the dumbbell, keeping it in this position. So fixed position, bringing it up as though you're hitting a hammer, so just up like this, straight up, straight down, controlled motion, isolated, okay, no twisting involved. Again guys, 8 to 10 reps, 3 sets, let's do it. Guys, those two exercises alone, the standing dumbbell curls and the standing hammer curls, are done by everybody, whether you're a beginner or advanced. These are the two fundamental exercises that everybody does to work out their arms. The next two exercises we'll look at are simply to further fatigue and concentrate on your biceps. Let's do it. The next exercise we'll be doing preacher curls using a curved bar. Guys, so just a quick tip, um, when using the preacher curler, Make sure that when you bring your arms up, you squeeze right at the top. And also don't bring the bar too far up because then you release the tension off your biceps. Now the most important thing with this exercise is to make sure that you control it on the way down. Now this return here is where you're going to get the most benefit out of this exercise. So bringing your arms down on a controlled motion and once you get to the bottom, make sure to pause for a second, okay? So that's going to really help develop the start of the bicep right here. So that little lump that you get right here, that's really going to help from uh, just pausing it down at the bottom of the preacher curl. Alright guys, so just like before, 3 sets, 8 to 10 reps, let's do it. Guys, now for this last exercise, we'll be looking at doing a finisher exercise. What I mean by finisher exercise is we really want to fatigue and burn those muscles. Okay, so we're not looking at a high weight here, we're looking at high reps. Um, so for each set, we're going to have 30 reps. We're going to be using a flat barbell, so 10 full reps of uh, using a flat barbell. Okay, so 10 full reps like this, full extensions, and then we'll be doing 10 half extensions, so that's from the bottom to the middle. 10 like this, and then from the middle to the top, 10 like this. Once we complete that 30, that's one set, and we'll be looking at doing three sets. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, couple tips, keep your elbows in, keep them locked, isolate your biceps, alright, and remember, light weight. Now if your muscles aren't already fatigued, this exercise is going to completely fatigue them. So get ready for it.
So that's my workout to get massive ass biceps. I can't even flex. I'm that pumped up, that exhausted, that fatigued. So that's my bicep workout, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Training with Bill.